All right, so let's just say that you don't like the color of your shirt or your car or your house. Well, instead of going out and buying a new any of those things, we can just fix it like Zach King does with a little bit of movie magic. Yes, everybody, we are back this week with another how to edit like Zach King video. The response from the last one was just so overwhelming that I had to make another one. In this video, you are going to learn two different ways to change the color of any object in DaVinci Resolve just like Zach King does in his video. Videos. All of that stuff and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. So really the only thing that you're going to need to make this effect is some footage. Now, if you want some free footage, I recorded some and you can download it by just clicking the link in the description. But if you're going to shoot it yourself, here's what you need. So when shooting the footage for this effect, ideally you're going to want your subject to be wearing a blue or green shirt because there's no blue or green in human skin tones. That's why you hear stuff like green screen or blue screen. It's going to make our job in DaVinci Resolve so much easier unless you're like the Hulk, then I mean, you're just a walking green screen. So <laughs> sorry, then you're going to have your subject snap their fingers a few times or in my friend Elias's case, grab your chest because why, why not? I, I don't, I don't know. I got to get myself some new friends. So once we have our footage, we're going to head into DaVinci Resolve. So now that we have DaVinci Resolve open, we're going to go ahead and create the Zach King color change effect. So we want to drag our media onto our timeline and we just want to cut it down. We don't want to make cuts at the location of our snaps yet. We just want one long continuous clip. You'll see why in a second. Now we just want to jump into the color tab. And then once we're in there, we're going to open up the qualifier window right here and grab the color selector tool. It's the one that looks like a turkey baster. I mean, some people say an eyedropper, but then we're going to click on the color that we want to select. So in this case, it's the blue of my friend's shirt. Then once we do that, we can see in our node right here that it actually shows what color is being selected or highlighted. And to get a better view of what we have selected and even to refine it, we're going to go ahead and hit this magic wand tool or it's known as the highlighter tool. It looks like a magic wand. I mean, come on. So since we can see all the things that we've highlighted, Highlighted, you'll notice that part of his shirt right here is actually missing that we haven't actually selected all of the blue yet So we want to add to our color selection So we're gonna want to grab the turkey baster with a plus next to it and then zoom in and click on the areas that we want to add To our color selection now you see more of our shirt was selected So now we have to actually refine what we have selected so we can really isolate the color and make sure that it's not some gross hard Transition that looks really fake and bad so down the corner qualifier tab under hue, we're going to grab our width and bring it up to where our colors are being selected completely. This is really, like I said, refining the color selection. Then we can move down to our softness and bring it up just a little so that our color selection isn't so harsh. We want it really nice looking. So now that we have our shirt fully selected, we're going to go back to the edit tab and then we're going to zoom in and make a cut every time that we hear a snap or a chest grab or something like that because those snaps are where we want the color of our shirt to change so then once we've made those cuts we're going to move over to the section where we want the color to be changed and then go back to the color tab so now we can go over to the curves tab and move over to the second page which is the hue versus hue page so once you're there all we're going to do to change the color of his shirt is to grab the white line and move it up and all around until you get the color that you really want and you can just mess around put some extra points here do all of that stuff but just for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna move the line now once you get the color the way you want it you can go ahead and turn off the highlighter or the magic wand so we can really see what the color looks like in our whole scene so that looks pretty good and we don't have any really weird outlines or stuff like that so now we're gonna move on to the second clip where we want our shirt to change again now instead of just going back to the edit tab and selecting your next clip we can just go up to the clip selector at the top right here and then you'll be able to see all of the clips that are in our timeline so we're just gonna go ahead and select the next one by clicking on it and then in the curve section we can just adjust our color like we did last time and as long as we stay within that blue to green range we'll be fine we're not gonna have any weird outlines we're not gonna have any weird things but if we want to change our colors into like the reds and yellows we're gonna start getting like blue outlines so I'm gonna have to show you another way to change the colors so that we don't have this blue outline around you so I'm just gonna go ahead right here and hit that reset button on the hue versus hues then go over to our color wheels and under gain we're gonna bring it up to the color that we want then we're gonna go over and do the same thing under lift 
And we can also do the same exact thing under gamma. But if you guys notice, I'm not pushing these colors like to their limits. I'm kind of like staying within a relatively safe range. We don't wanna just be going outside of the color wheel because it's going to bring a lot of unnecessary glow and saturation, stuff like that. Odds are you'll probably look a lot like a walking highlighter and we don't really want that. So really, if you just play around with the color wheels, you'll eventually get the color that you're looking for. So as you see, we do have like an outline over here. So what we can do is go over to the qualifier tab and we can use the clean blacks and the clean whites to really refine our edges right here. So now let's just take a look at what we got. I like that. Go back. Yeah. All right, so there you have it, the Zach King color change effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share with your friends so that they can put these effects in their video too. Do you guys wanna learn more Zach King effects? Let me know in the comments below. Like these things are kind of fun. Also, Zach King is like freaking wild. He's like a wizard, literally. Like I'm blown away at the stuff that he comes up with. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Also, I just recently created a Facebook group called DaVinci Resolve. This is a group of video editors and DaVinci Resolve users all coming together to learn from one another and really further this program. And it's totally free. So if any of you guys are interested in joining a group like this, click the link down below to join. I would really love to see you guys there. I would love to talk with you. I would love to just see all of us helping one another to really just grow in our knowledge. Anyway, so if you want any more videos like this, click on the top for a playlist with all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, or you can click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, Peace.